Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Honored to be connecting in with you. And we are moving on through July. I can't believe how quickly the month is going. I don't know if you have have been feeling that or experiencing that, but I've been surprised at how quickly July seems to be moving along. And in July, I like us to take time to stop (laughs) and to slow down a little bit and check in really look at how are we showing up in our life? Are we showing up in our life? How are we sharing the gift of who we are out in the world? I sometimes look at it as taking center stage instead of kind of waiting and next time I'll show up, kind of treating life like a dress rehearsal. And I want to encourage you and remind you that it matters how you show up. We have today, and we can choose, it's a choice, to show up in a way that we're shining, meaning that we're showing up in a way that we are in alignment with what matters most to us, that we are standing in our gifts, that we are sharing out into the world. I call that shining out what matters to us most, and they're walking in a way as we navigate through life, whether it's dancing, walking, standing in a way that uh, people know what you stand for. They know where you stand on things. They know what's important to you. Are we remembering to do that? Sometimes we can get into autopilot and just kind of let the day run us. We can let the weeks run us and pretty soon another year's pass by. And I want to keep you engaged and remind you how much it matters, how you are choosing to show up in your life and to do so mindfully and purposely. Today, we have two amazing guests that are leaning into the conversation, and we're going to be talking about how to shine your truest light, no matter what. So I hope that you're leaning in with excitement and anticipation. I know I am, and I know that there's a reason you have tuned in today. There's a purpose. There is something here for you. By the very nature of you tuning in. It wasn't by accident. And so I want you to get the most out of our time together today. And to do that, I want you to choose to be present. Give yourself the gift of this time to be fully present, open to receive. You get to take the doing hat off and you get to choose to be present, open, and ready to receive. So I hope that feels great. And to support you in that, let's take a breath. In through the nose. Picture it going all the way to your toes. And then out through your mouth like through a straw. Clearing out anything that needs to be cleared out. Breathing in that beautiful support of oxygen. Slowing down a little bit. Becoming present helps lower your cortisol levels helps you become present, creates room and space to receive everything that is here for you today. So as you are breathing, I want to invite you to close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. Put both hands on your heart. Taking another beautiful breath in. Wonderful. Excuse me, I'm clearing out all that stuff that doesn't serve as I'm breathing. Becoming present, centering in, eyes closed. And as you tune in, I want you to ask the question of yourself. Self, what is it you need today? As we've talked about sharing and shining, what is it you need real time to support you on your journey? What is it you need today? that you are willing to receive because you have choice. (laughs) So what is it that you need and are willing to receive? Sometimes it'll come in as, as a picture, a reminder, a sound, a knowing, 
an image, a scent? What is it you need today that you are willing to receive? Beautiful. Receive that information. Let's take another breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth, becoming fully present. And I encourage you and invite you to take a moment and write down what was laid on your heart. What was popped up, percolated to the top (laughs) as you took a moment to tune in and listen and see what was laid on your heart and spirit. By writing it down, it gets it out of swirling around in you and gives you an opportunity to co-create it, to keep it top of mind. I want you to glance at your paper throughout our time together today, leaning in with anticipation on seeing the unexpected and wonderful way that need will move forward, will get met. You don't have to figure out all the how, but being open to being surprised at the way that need is moved forward. So with an open ears, open heart, open mind, let's take another beautiful breath and we'll go around a ritual room here as we connect in with our amazing guests to see what was laid on their heart. So with that, Lindsay, I'd love for you to share when you took a moment just to slow down and connect in, what was laid on your heart? Um, to be living, to remember to be living in a world of gratefulness. It was a beautiful statement that you just made. And what flooded up to the top was how grateful I am to be in this world and to experience it all the time. And when I get a little bit sidetracked, I can remember that I am just so grateful to be to be living here. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And I love that remembering and choosing to be grateful and to remember your gratefulness. Uh, Just so beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate that. My pleasure. And Precious, how about you? When you took a moment to connect in and see what what bubbled up in you, what was on your heart? I thought about um, our sense, our need of community. And then Mm. when you said, what do you need today and what are you willing to receive? For me, it was in a sense of community. No matter how big we get, if we think we are big, I don't know. Um, you will always need other people. And I thought about the most basic things I needed today because I was thinking, hmm, I, was, I laid out my day from here on out this evening. There's some major points of things that I'll be doing, and I needed support to do that, to make it happen. Mm. And so just mm-hmm. thinking about me in the sense of a community that I need the most basic things And when that's given to me, um, appreciate it and be able to receive it because I also considered some things I can make do. I can, oh, no, I can can do this. I can go, no, stop and receive. Because when you add it apart and what are you willing to receive, some gifts we allow to miss us because we don't know how to receive it. So it's a matter Mm -hmm. of to me that we're in a sense of community you're going to always need others because yes. we're not created in an island type mentality. And then being willing to receive that because sometimes we may not have to work so hard if we can, if we can receive. Mm, beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I love that allowing community and being willing and able to receive. Um, allowing. I like that how we can sometimes miss gifts because we weren't, allowing ourselves to receive we can miss those things that are that are in our life so beautiful beautiful thank you for sharing thank you and listeners how about you was there something in as that was shared or has been shared so far today with us something that bubbled up within your heart when you took a moment to feel in and and see We are getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And as we do so, I want to encourage you to stay present. Resist that urge to go cross things off the to-do list. Give yourself the gift 
of these two minutes and really feel, hear, receive, and see what is being laid on your heart and on your spirit. And we'll continue our conversation in just two minutes. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Voice America programs are now available on your favorite connected device, including Amazon, Alexa, and Google Home. Through streams with Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio, listening to your favorite show is as easy as saying the show name followed by the word podcast. Hey, Alexa. Play Finding Your Frequency podcast. If that doesn't work, try adding on TuneIn or on iHeartRadio or on Apple Podcasts. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes. I find two minutes can make such a difference in my day, in the flow, in the week. When I can remember, and I don't always remember, but when I can remember (laughs) to stop, pause, connect in, and center myself and listen It helps me have more ease and flow in my day, a different perspective. It keeps me connected to those things that matter most to me. It actually helps me integrate and process things um, as they come to me and at me sometimes throughout the day and up within me versus someday eventually I'll, I'll integrate that or I'll process that. And so I find when I remember to take those breaks. And you can even take them when you're standing in line unexpectedly. You could look at that as an opportunity. Here's two minutes for me (laughs) to be present, to observe, to listen. The commercial breaks on on TV or those disruptions that happen, we can take those moments. So I'm going to invite you throughout our show today. We have built those moments in on purpose. They are specially designed for you, (laughs) to support you, to give you an opportunity to pause, to integrate, to breathe in, those things that serve and release those that no longer do. So use those moments. That's my big tip for the day. And and one of the secrets that we can have to moving faster, more powerfully, more effectively on purpose and shining is remembering to build those moments of pauses into our life so we can stay connected with what matters most to us and where we want to be and stand and how we want to be in our life because we want to be in our life (laughs) and we want to bring forward those things that matter most. So I'm excited. We are talking with two amazing guests today and looking at how to shine in our truest light, no matter what may come our way. Very excited to introduce our first amazing guest. You got to hear from her on a heart level in the opening segment where she was reflecting on remembering gratefulness, her gratefulness of being in this life and being in this world. It's my honor to introduce Lindsay McConnell, McDonald. 
She is a renowned speaker, sought after cancer coach, a celebrated author, and she is passionate about helping you be fearless when faced with a cancer diagnosis. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful and dynamic and grateful Lindsay McDonald to the show. Welcome. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm really, really honored to be on this in this space with you. Mm. I got lucky. Mm. Well, I and am grateful. I'm oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Please share. And I got really excited when you just introduced me because I am completely passionate about what I've been doing for the past eight years. Mm. And I cannot wait to share it with your audience. Mm. I love that. I hope they're all leaning in, sitting on the edge of their seats, (laughs) excited to learn what you have been up to and what you are so passionate and excited to share about. And so I would, I would love one of the things that you really stand for and help people with is to be fearless when faced with a cancer diagnosis. And I would love for you to share why, why is that work important to you and how are you helping people be fearless in that? Um, A couple of things. One It's important to be fearless because what fear does is it shuts you down. And when you're dealing with cancer, you actually have to try and keep your head so that you can work with doctors as opposed to just being their patient and help them understand what you're thinking about, what you're going through, what solutions you need Um, and you need to be able to be creative and fear shuts that down. And so that's what's most important to me that people retain their sense of power, even though Mm -hmm. they may feel very defeated when they are given a diagnosis of cancer or when the treatments are not working. Mm. Thank you for sharing that because I think that can be a, this fear, the shutting down, it doesn't release great chemicals in your body (laughs) when, when that starts to take over and how important it is that we can stand in our power, that we can work with those around us, that we can tap into that creativity and not let fear kind of hijack us. And I appreciate that you are willing to support people in that way. And I know that one of the ways you support people in that is through writing and you have a book coming out. It's coming out in August. I'm very excited about it. And I'd love for you to share the title of the book and a little bit about it. So people know um, what it's about, if it's for them, how it can support and help. Um, I'd love to do this. So the book is called Your Dance with Cancer, Steps to Maximize Your Chance of Survival. And the the big piece of that title is dance instead of fight. Mm. Because what I learned very early on was fighting was three things. It was going to exhaust me. And I could not go into this being exhausted. And I couldn't go through it being exhausted. And just the word fight brought that up in me. Mm. The other thing that happened was I had to figure out, so what was I doing? And what I realized, to me, it was more of a puzzle. It was more, you know, similar to martial arts, where you're, where you're not fighting, you're actually puzzling through it. Dancing was the metaphor that I chose to use because, honestly, with my diagnosis, I was going to be dealing with it for the rest of my life. And um, I knew that during the course of this, I would have to learn new steps and maybe one day dance it out the door, but it allowed me to not be a loser, like in a fight, okay? And And the honest 
truth is that very time, very often cancer does, if you're using this vernacular, win. But in dancing, it's not a winner or a loser. It's just a partnership. And mm. I treat my cancer as a partnership. And dancing was the perfect word for me because it took off the level of exhaustion and the level of feeling defeated. Mm. Thank you for sharing that. And I love that shift because I think sometimes we're like getting ready to fight and that can be exhaustive. And you're, that means there's a winner and a loser. And so this dance is uh, more of a, a navigating and working together and working through things has a much different type of energy. And I just wanted to to circle in a, on a couple of things around this book and some of what you're sharing with us, because some listeners, you, you may be new to them. And so I'd love for you to share just a little bit of your journey and why bringing this book forward became important to you. So I'm sharing this journey. Um, it Really, the journey part of it is a vehicle mm -hmm. to explain to people what I did at different times. The second half of the book is all tips and resources and how I did it, and where I got the information. Um, but the journey changed for me along the way. I went in like everybody else or most people with very scared and nothing worked in the beginning. And I had to figure out how to find something that would help slow this cancer down. And in doing so, I had to do a ton of research and look outside the box. And I luckily had doctors that would help me look outside the box. And I want people to know that they can do that. That mm. it's really okay to do your research, to, to not be scared of the numbers. Because honestly, if it says, God forbid, 70% don't survive, why not be in the 30%? There's absolutely nothing that says that you're going to be in, a, in any sort of percentage. And people use that and they get scared. And it really isn't, shouldn't be a part of our lexicon because we are all individual. We are all different. And as long as we have the capacity to retain our power to research, to talk, to understand, um, and to stay motivated, we can make a difference in the cancer journey. And that's why I wrote the book, to help mm. people stay motivated and to understand they, they really do have the ability to do this. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And some uh, being willing to share some of your journey and the different stages in the sense that you went through um, in finding your power on the journey, finding your steps in the dance and that reminder that we can choose our perspective, how we're looking at those things and being willing to look outside the box and the tips and resources and support that you provide in the book are, are so powerful. So sharing your journey and then all of that support. And when people lean in and read your book and lean into that journey and, and maybe shifting it to a bit of a dance, what do you hope happens for them? What do you hope is a result of them um, adding this book to their library? Um, what I hope for them is to actually give them some hope because mm -hmm. my journey has been somewhat torturous and I am here today living an amazing life and I'm very lucky to be living it. And a lot of it developed through the journey and also to look at cancer, to help them look at cancer with curiosity because curiosity is energizing mm -hmm. and if they can keep their energy up during this, it will make a difference. Attitude makes a huge difference. Um, it is truly part of our metabolic system that it changes the way that our cells behave. Um, and I try to make it easy for them too by giving them so many resources 
and explaining what my thought process was as I reached out to each one. Hmm. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And I think that hope is so important, that curiosity and then having tools and resources and someone who's been on the journey (laughs) sharing with them and giving um, support in that way is just so powerful. I'm very, very excited about your book. And I know it's coming out on August 17th and you're offering a a special rate as it releases. Um, Do you want to share a little bit about that or would you like me to? Uh, You you go ahead, Rebecca. Okay. I get very excited. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) So Lindsay's powerful book will be available on August 17th. And I want to encourage everyone to circle that on your calendar. Not only is this an amazing, powerful, life-changing resource that can encourage and support you on your journey. Also, when you're able to get it at a super special rate, I want you to know about that. I don't want anyone to come back to me and say they wish they would have known. So on August 17th, it's going to be released for the amazing rate of $1.99. Powerful resource can make such a difference in our life and on our journey. And I feel like so many of us have either directly been touched by cancer ourselves or in our family or someone we know that this resource can really, really make a powerful difference. So I want to encourage you to tune in. On August 17th, mark that on your calendar. It will be available on Amazon for the special rate of $1.99 for the first 24 hours. We're going to be sharing and promoting it out in social media, so you can watch for that as well. And there will be links that you can click on to get and take advantage of that special rate. So I want to encourage you to lean in. Um, Powerful tool that can encourage and support you on your journey. And I even think just that reminder whether you're struggling with cancer or not, that we can choose how to dance and navigate in our life, I think is also important to remember and and to embrace. So anything you want to add to that, Lindsay? Yeah, one other thing. Um, The book happens to be funny. funny (laughs) Thank you, Lindsay. I was in situations situations that were crazy. And and knowing (laughs) that you can still laugh while you're doing this, is super important. Mm. (laughs) So true. Thank you for that important reminder, because we do tend to get very serious. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And it it, it is, and it needs to be looked at in some sort of a lighter way. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, thank you for adding that. I so appreciate that. And do you have one final tip or, or something on your heart, maybe something that's helped you over the last eight years, Um, that you want to share with us that perhaps we could look at adding to our dance steps? I guess the thing I would say would be to, to always respect yourself. Because again, when we turn into victims, it becomes very difficult. And you are very worthwhile to, to know yourself, to reflect, respect yourself and to choose how you deal with cancer or any other crisis because you're worthy. You're really worthy. And that's what I would like to say. Don't give it up. Keep it. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Lindsay. I so appreciate it. Um, An important reminder for all of us. And uh, I would, I would just add and remember that uh, we can, find laughter and humor on the journey too. <laughs> that, um, that Rebecca, thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah. you for the whole experience. Oh, you, you're so welcome. Thrilled to, to have you on the show today and, uh, listeners, as we get ready to go to our next commercial break, remember these are two minutes for you. Maybe lean in and feel that value and worth that you have that Lindsay's reminding us of. Perhaps think about how you're choosing your steps. And we'll look at continuing our conversation in just two minutes. Follow us on Twitter at VoiceAmericaTRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's VoiceAmericaTRN. 
Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. It's time to serve, learn, change the world. Tune in each week for the power of young people to change the world. Hosted by NYLC CEO, Amy Muirs. The program is a forum for both young people and the adults who love and support them. We make connections with others through stories of change, partnership, and new perspectives of issues facing the world today. Be sure to join us every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and 3 p.m. Pacific Time or anytime on demand on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or a comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes, that opportunity to be present reflect on what touched your heart and spirit during the the first part of the show. Leaning into what's speaking to your heart and spirit and kind of bubbling up. It can make such a difference in our life, in our journey, when we remember to listen, to connect in, to receive those things that are supportive to us. And maybe it's a perspective, a shift in how we look at things. We're going to continue our conversation looking at how we're looking at things. How are we showing up in life? How can we shine in our gifts and our talents in all the different wonderful and unique ways that we're made? I'm very excited to introduce our next amazing guest. I know you will love her, Precious Fuller. She is a diversity, equity, and inclusion specialist with an emphasis in leadership workplace culture, and educational equity. She is passionate about improving the workplace culture by bringing awareness to all of the wonderful and different ways that we are made and the benefit to the organization and to the individual when those things are brought forward in a fair and equitable way that we all get to shine. Please lean in. And warmly welcome the powerful and dynamic and holder of diverse space and talents, <laughs> Precious Fuller to the show. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel like I'm running down the aisle, like in Price is Right. I'm excited. <laughs> Clapping the hands <laughs> as yeah. you're coming to this yeah. stage. <laughs> I yeah. love it. I actually raise my hands as I'm introducing you. So you, I'm glad you felt that energy. <laughs> oh, I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome. I'm excited to, to have you joining us as you take the stage. And I'd love for you to share a little bit about why this work is personally so important to you. Hmm, okay. It's personal to me because I'm in the center of it in the mm. sense of I'm a human being and I'm impacted by our human experience here. And not only am I impacted, so is every other human being. I just feel it's such relevant work. And when people understand there's 
there's change that can happen for the benefit of everyone. When people don't understand, when the light has not come on and people don't get it, we keep doing things the same way and then are surprised by the same results. The light's got to come on. We've got to get it. We've got to realize that this impacts us directly as much as it can impact anyone else. And then we've got to get involved and spread the word. So that's, Mm. I'm passionate because it's me, it's you, it's all of us who are part of this human family. Mm. Thank you. I'm smiling as, as you're sharing that and that important reminder of how it is personal, it's direct, it matters. It's each and every one of us are part of this, this human family. And why, why is it important or is it important? I guess I'm assuming it's important because I think it is <laughs> my perspective, but um, is it important that we do come forward, that we bring who we are forward, that like you said, that light goes on and how does that light going on affect us each personally and also collectively as people? Yes, and I'll say this. I know some people are turned off by titles, and I'm not real big on some of them myself. So I, I always feel a certain kind of, mm, I might need to find a word for that, mm, when it comes to being identified uh, in a space of a title, because we're so much more than that. Uh, we just mm-hmm. do have to have some types of, some some terminology to describe some of what we do, and it gives clarity. The thing is, um recognizing that we are all a part of the same unit is what's important to me. Now, a lot of people can come from different directions when it comes to diversity. I'm recognizing the the oneness of us being a part of the same. And it's important because there are times when we don't get it, we, we relegate others to the other category. And when people become others to us, they, they almost become, can become insignificant. Mm. And we can justify all types of behaviors towards them or um, walking over or not acknowledging needs because we don't see them as we see ourselves. But when we recognize that we are one another, we are humanity. I am, you are, we are humanity because we were born into this space. Uh, there's a, a power that comes with it. There's such potential in us. There's such power and awesomeness. And when we recognize that, that's the light bulb. It mm. comes on. And, and for me to recognize what I have and to be clear about it, that means you have it too. Mm. I wasn't just put here, I'm the only one, or my family, we're the only ones. No, other people too. We have different gifts different abilities, different strengths, um, because we don't all have to have the exact same ones because then, you know, we wouldn't need what the other has. But when we recognize what we have and our responsibility to use it, and then we recognize others have power as well, and there's a responsibility to employ them in whatever opportunities we have to help them to do the same. And then the next one does the same thing. And then, that one finds another one. When we recognize that, it, it, it's, um, it's the hug felt around the world. Whatever mm. space you have to acknowledge who you are, hence, huh, that's others as well, then there's so much giftedness, there's so much power, and there's so much light in just supporting one another in their shine. Mm. And it, it, it minimizes so much when we just allow people to shine and give them space to do so. And it's not a competition because for me to have strengths and and certain, um, say certain superpowers in certain areas, it's a superpower or it's a strength because I don't have it in every area. Mm. So that means the areas that I do not have that in, you may. How powerful then for me to shine in my area that I have natural giftedness in and abilities and um, I'm just able to produce certain results. Mm-hmm. And then there are other areas that have to compensate for that. Those are not so much strengths. I might be able to do, but it's just not my superpower. But it may be yours. So if we're working in tandem, then, I mean, there's no limit. So when I love we it. work with one mm-hmm. another in that sense and in that understanding, 
it's a beautiful experience. It's not competitive. It's necessary. It's appreciated. It's desired. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. I love that. And I love that hug that goes around the world. (laughs) I love that (laughs) language and that visual and really honoring all the different ways that we can shine and how I, we can, um, become unlimited or limitless when, when we do that and, um, embrace each other's strengths and talents. And as you know, I feel like there might be some listeners today saying, that's great. Everyone has all these amazing gifts. They're so talented. They're so good at these things. And we can sometimes shrink back and not see our gifts or not see, where we have strengths, how would you support that person? What would you suggest they do to discover their strengths too? Absolutely. Um, Sometimes their strength, um, because that that does happen when people think, well, I don't don't know what my gift is. It may not be something that they feel they're getting recognized for or paid for. They feel like I'm just functioning. I'm, I'm acting, you know, my daily routine. I'm following it. So I would say take some time. To take some time and nurture yourself, be good to yourself. Um, people whose gifts and talents are visible, someone has nurtured them. Mm. Someone has steered them. Someone has given them opportunity and looked into them and said, hmm, I think you're good at this. Um, let me give you an opportunity or a platform here. Sometimes we just need to do that for ourselves because we're worth it. So take some time. Mm. Nurture yourself. Do some things you enjoy. Um What's funny for you? And you can laugh and have a good sense of humor. What is what is some artistic ability you have that you can just spend more time in? Uh, how well do you uh, enjoy connecting with others? And are you good at it? But just stop and just think about what you enjoy, what you do. And you can also think about where your struggle lies and then figure out what in-depth knowledge that gives you. Because the things we struggle in or the challenges we've had in life, they give us some special attunement also in that area. So when we meet other people who may have a semblance of what we've dealt with or are dealing with, we already have an antenna up. So mm. how perceptive are you in a certain area, maybe because of what you have experienced? So my point is, oh. you're worth the investment. So if they do not have a ready answer as to what their gifts are, just spend some time and invest time in ourselves, in themselves. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. I think that's um, so important because I think sometimes we're so good at seeing the wonder of others that uh, we don't always see it in ourselves Mm -hmm. or it hasn't been nurtured and we haven't discovered it. So I love that. Spend time with ourselves, nurture ourselves, uh, discover that. Do you find it's helpful to ask people what they see in you or any activities like that help people take some of those steps and discover some of their brilliance? I think that's very possible. And the key is, who are you asking? (laughs) You know, uh, how healthy are they? How attuned are they to you and who you are? So um, you can get some answers that can be very insightful and helpful. And then you may get some that make you wrinkle your eyebrow in a way that you realize, oh, this person may not really understand me. Mm-hmm. So it may depend on, on the, the people you ask. Um, since I like how you put the wonder of others, some people, I'll, I'll take this in, in a slightly different way with, with that, because that is, um, that's a positive thing, or it can be. But some people become very, um, uh, I don't know if jealous would be the word, or envious of others who they admire. Admiration mm-hmm. can also be turned into something ugly if, if allowed. So if you're asking people who may um, not be comfortable enough with themselves, so they look at others in a way of, hmm, why does she or he have such and such and certain abilities and I don't, depending on how comfortable a person is with him or herself, you may or may not want to ask that person to share with you the light they see in you. Some are able to do so and are happy to do so. Others, if they have their own personal struggles in that area, that may not be someone you ask. Just like you can't tell everyone your dreams, you may not want to ask everyone um, some powerful information that you may take to heart. So, yeah. Good um, advice. It, it, it could go well. It also could not. And so you just have to choose your people carefully. Beautiful. I love that. And that also helps 
I think, decide, you know, do you agree with them? Do you not? Like all kinds of great things. But coming back to yourself and spending time with you and discovering and being curious and seeing and to, to discover the wonder of you, I think is, is right. an amazing journey. So with this awareness and us discovering our strengths and our differences and embracing all that and bringing that forward, I can see that great hug around the world. How does this also help businesses and our journey in life and all those things that we may want to bring forward? Why does it, how does it tie into that? And why is it important? Because in business and in life, it's full of people. You still have to work with people. We've got to deal with people. And when we see ourselves in the sense of part of the whole and we uh, the wonder of us. We learn to appreciate and explore with um, childlike curiosity and joy. And we are able to give the gift of what we do for ourselves to others as well in business, in life, in culture in general. Then it transforms it. So if in a business that your team, your department, your unit, your organization is set up with that spirit in mind, and the, the leadership is reflected out in that same way, that same vein, it, it can't help but to transform things. Mm. And it's, it's not a feeling to that. It just keeps growing. It's the gift that keeps giving. Because the gift you give yourself, and that becomes you. You give that to the one next to you. You give that to the one next to that one. And, and we've created a circle and a, a system of how we operate in this space, in this business. The benefits are ad infinitum. It mm. just keeps on growing. So be it business, be it just in society, it starts with one, and that's me. It starts with one, and that's you. And when that is the way we occupy our spaces, if we're in leadership, if we're influencing those who are in leadership, that's how we occupy our spaces, then that is what will come out of it mm. um, as people are willing and, and choose to receive that as well. So, yes, be it business or whatever other area in life, it's dealing with people. Um, I, I think that's it. But I, I'll dare say even when it's not people, even if it's, if it's nature, if it's mm -hmm. animals, when mm -hmm. we deal with people or life forms, let's say life, in the sense of awe and respect and wonder, we value it differently. We respect it. And out of that respect, there's preservation of its life. When you, you respect nature, you, you help preserve it in ways um, that help it to continue to be at its best. And then that, mm -hmm. in turn, benefits us. So when we do that for others as well, it does have a way of coming back. It's not a yeah. selfish act when you pour into others, but it does come back to give you self-benefits as well. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I love that. So it's the hug that goes around the world and comes back. <laughs> I yes. love it. So, so beautiful. Well, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. And as we do that, listeners, I want you to take a couple moments for you to feel into the wonder of you. Perhaps look at how you're looking at things and seeing the wonder of who you are, seeing how you're looking at and appreciating those things around you. So wonderful opportunity to feel in, and we will continue our conversation in just two minutes. Voice America is on your favorite smart speaker. If you have Alexa or Google Home, go ahead and give us a try. Hey, Alexa, play Finding Your Frequency podcast on TuneIn. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. You need to live up to your full potential. You've heard that for years, but now there's a channel to help you get there. 
Introducing the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Our listeners have told us that they want to be motivated, hear about success stories, and positive encouragement around the clock. And we've responded to you. The Voice America Empowerment Channel is the home of the world's top life coaches, entrepreneurs, and success experts. Listen to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. It's here at VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that as you look back at your note page where you wrote your intention or what was laid on your heart at the opening segment, that you've had some great insights to support you on your journey. And as we're reflecting back on the conversation, I've asked each of our guests to share their contact information so that you can go deeper and connect in with them. Because I believe this is the beginning of a dance that can continue. And when you have people that you resonate with and are pouring into you and they're generous enough to share their contact information, that that's an invitation. So for those of you who um, feel that pull, write down the contact information, lean in, keep that connection going. For those of you who are feeling this pull and this call to perhaps be a guest on one of our shows or to share your wisdom and insight, I wanted to let you know about the Speaker Talent Search. It's coming up. There's a deadline the end of this month, July 31st. But if you go to speakertalentsearch.com, it's part of our giving back and helping people connect share their message, and get on more stages. So I encourage you to check that out, and it'll also be a way for us to stay connected. So with that, Lindsay, I'd love for you to share your contact information, the best way for people to connect in. So there's a couple of ways. Um, My email is lindsay, L-I-N-D-S-A-Y, at yourdancewithcancer.com. There is also a Facebook page, your dance with cancer and very shortly there's going to be a website of called your dance with cancer um in my book it also has my email address and i love talking to other people that are interested in this subject wonderful thank you for sharing and her book is going to be launched on August 17th, your dance with cancer. Just a reminder (laughs) to have that on your calendar so you can lean in and get a copy as well. Thank you, Lindsay, for sharing. And I'm excited about your upcoming book. And Precious, yeah, yeah. And Precious, I'd love for you to share your contact information. Absolutely. I'll start with my email address as well. That is precious.fuller. So Precious is just like the adjective, P-R-E-C-I-O-U-S dot Fuller, F-U-L-L-E-R, at Equanimity Partners. So, just take that slowly, E-Q-U-A-N-I-M-I-T-Y, Partners, spelled out P-A-R-T-N-E-R-S-I-N-T-L, the abbreviation for international, dot com. That's my email address, precious.fuller at equanimitypartnersintl.com. And then my uh, LinkedIn address is a good way to reach me as well, um, www.linkedin.com slash preciousfuller hyphen diversity hyphen equity hyphen inclusion hyphen specialist. Beautiful. 
Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. And listeners, I want to thank each and every one of you to, for leaning in, bringing you, the gift of you, to the show, your energy. And as you get ready to go back out into the world, I want to encourage you, take two minutes for you. Take a moment to connect in, receive all that serves, and then choose how you're going to step forward, how you're going to, the, the steps in the dance that you're going to take as you move back into your day. So do so with purpose. Do so in alignment with what matters most to you because you are a gift, beautifully and wonderfully made for such a time as this. Have an amazing week and we'll look forward to talking to you next time. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel, with a replay on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific on the Voice America Variety Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.